Sweet sweet Let us pray. Oh God, I have in ages past a hope for years to come. I shall come from the stormy blast and I Tonight, we are going to pray against calamities and disasters. I'm sure if you watch the news, you will see what is happening all over the world. Is one disaster or the other? The one they call climate change is causing all sorts of destruction all over the world. Very recently, the flood that has taken over parts of uh, our nation wreaked havoc like never before. But there are also spiritual calamities, spiritual disasters, Apart from floods, the Bible tells us that we should be redeeming the time because the days are evil. The devil is doing overtime. It's like a roaring lion seeking whom to devour. If you don't believe me, check out Job chapter 1 and see what he did to Job. At the end of it all, he, Mary destroyed him with all series of calamities 
and disasters, but the Almighty God redeemed him. The Bible tells us that thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Job 5, 21 and 22. We're going to cry to the Almighty God tonight and say, Father, Father, Father uh, hide me, O Lord, Father, from all sorts of destruction. Father, hide me, O Lord, from all sorts of destruction. Father, destruction and family, O Lord, I shall laugh. Destruction. I shall not be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Father, hide me under your pavilion, O Lord. Hide me under your wings, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible tells us in Psalm 125, verses 1 and 2, it says, They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. Okay. Open your mouth tonight and cry to the Almighty God and say, Father, Father I trust in you. I they pray to continue to trust in you. Trust Father, continue. give unto me, O Lord. I me. shall be like Mount Zion. I cannot be removed. Open your mouth and begin to prophesy into your life. I shall have a lasting father tonight, O oh Lord, we are crying to you, O oh Lord. We shall be like Mount Zion, which cannot be removed. No disaster, no calamity shall ever remove us, O oh Lord, because we trust in you. Psalm 125 verse 2 says, As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth even forever. Yes. Open your mouth and cry to him tonight and say, Father, Father, as the mountains surround Jerusalem, O Lord, Father, surround me, O Lord, surround my family, O Lord, surround all members of Resurrection Parish, O Lord. No evil, no calamity shall come near us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father and my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The Bible also tells us in Isaiah 26, verse 3, he says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. Some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Open your mouth and say, Father, Father. My mind is stayed on thee, O Lord. Father, keep me in perfect peace. No matter the storm around me, O Lord, I will be in perfect peace. I trust in you, O Lord. I do not trust in the arms of flesh. Father, I will remember your name every day of my life. I will trust in you, O Lord, because you will be protecting me. You protect my family. You protect the church. You protect every member of the redeemed Christian Church of God from whatever evil, from whichever direction, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I prayed. Joel chapter 2, verse 32 says, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Open your mouth tonight and say, Father, Father, I shall be delivered from every calamity, from every destruction, in the mighty name of Jesus, because I trust in the Lord my God. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I, Father, and my God, we trust in you, O Lord. Therefore, we are crying tonight, O Lord, for deliverance from any shape or form of calamity or destruction. Whichever way it comes, we know we are delivered because we trust in you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Matthew seven twenty four says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, 
and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Open your mouth tonight and say, Father, Father, my life is founded upon you, the rock of all ages. No matter the storm, O oh Lord, no matter the calamity, it will not destroy me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I, Father, and my God, O oh Lord, the grace, O oh Lord, Father, to be founded upon the rock, we shall never fail. Father, give unto each and every one of us. Therefore, no rain, no storm, no calamity shall come near us because our feet are firmly upon the rock. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Isaiah 43, verses 1 to 3 says, But now thus says the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And okay. through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither okay. shall the flame kindle upon you. For okay. I am the Lord thy God. Open your mouth tonight and say, Father, Father, I am redeemed. Therefore, I am not afraid. I have called thee by thy name, O Lord. When I pass through the waters, you will be with me. When I pass through the rivers, they shall not overflow me. When I walk through the fire, I shall not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon me. Open your mouth tonight and begin to prophesy like yes, Isaiah did in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter what we are passing through, no matter the storm, no matter the tribulation, Father, we depend on you. We shall not be moved. We shall not be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Psalm 91 tells us that those that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We're going to cry to him tonight and say, Father, 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 Father. I abide. Under I, uh, your shadow, I will say of the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress. In you will I trust. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Okay. That the true. Lord is our refuge. Yes. The okay. Lord is our fortress. No evil shall befall us. No calamity shall befall us. No disaster shall befall us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. He said, surely. He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Open your mouth and begin to try to cry to him and say, Father, Father, deliver me from the snare of the fowler. Deliver me from the noisome pestilence. No matter the calamity in whatever shape or form it comes, Father, deliver me, O Lord, because I dwell under the shadow. I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I, Father, and my God, we pray, O Lord, tonight, O Lord, that you will deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. He says, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trouse. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Cry to him tonight and say, Father, Father, you shall cover me with your feathers, O Lord. Under your wings shall I trust, O Lord. Your truth shall be my shield and buckler. Open your mouth and begin to cry to him. Father, cover us with your feathers, O Lord. Under your wings shall we trust. Your truth shall be our shield and buckler. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Verse 5 of Psalm 91 says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. We're going to cry to him and say, Father, Father, I shall not be afraid for the terror by night. I shall not be afraid for the arrow that fly by day. I shall not be afraid for any pestilence that walketh in darkness or any destruction that wasted at noonday. Because I dwell under the shadow of the Almighty, you will be with me all through. No evil shall befall me. No evil shall befall my family. 
No evil shall befall any member of our church in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Verse 7 says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, that it shall not come near thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Open your mouth and cry to him and say, Father, Father, a thousand shall fall by my side, ten thousand by my right hand, but it shall not come near me. No calamity, no disaster shall come near me. No disaster shall come near my family. No disaster shall come near any member of the blessed family. Only with our eyes shall we behold and see the reward of the wicked. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. It says in verse 10 and 11, it says, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. You are going to cry to him and say, Father, Father, no evil shall befall me, O Lord. No, no plague shall come near my dwelling, because, O Lord, you will give your angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. They shall bear me up in their hands, lest we dash our foot against a stone. Thank you, mighty and everlasting Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We we'll go straight to verse 15 as we round up. He says, we shall call upon him and he will answer us. He will be with us in trouble. He will deliver us and honor us. With long life will he satisfy us and show us his salvation. Open your mouth and cry to him and say, Father, we are calling upon you tonight, O Lord. You will answer us, O Lord. You will be with us in trouble. You will deliver us. You will honor us. With long life will you satisfy us and show us your salvation. No calamity, no disaster shall conquer us. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Unto thee, O Lord. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O Lord, unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me Let not me be ashamed. Let not Let my enemies cry over me. Amen. So much and everlasting, Father, I want to say thank you. Thank you Amen. for this time in the presence of in your presence. Yes. Thank you, much and everlasting, Father, because you and you alone are our refuge, our buckler, our battle fighter. Jehovah Shabbat is your name. The Lord of hosts is your name. The Lord that can never lose any battle, that's your name. Thank you because we are, you've covered us under your wings. No evil shall befall us. No Amen. calamity shall befall us. No Amen. disaster shall come near us. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Still in that attitude of prayers. I like to take this worship song. You are the mighty man in battle. You are the mighty man in battle. You are the mighty man in battle. Glory to your name, you are the mighty man in battle. El Shaddai, you are the mighty man in battle. Jehovah Nisi, you are the mighty man in battle. El Shaddai, you are the mighty man in battle. Glory to your name. Brethren, bring I like us to worship the Lord. Let us exalt his holy name. Let us acknowledge him as the mighty man in battle. 
is the God that has never lost the battle, the God with whom nothing is impossible, the God of all flesh, the ancient of days, the beginning and the ending, the Alpha, the Omega, the long, strong and mighty in battle, greater than the greatest, higher than the highest, better than the best. Father, we worship you. We are exalt your holy name, God, because there is no other God like you. You are the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Please accept our praise and thanks and worship. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Brethren, we are continuing our prayers um, against accidents, fire outbreak, calamity, tragedy, sorrow, etc., etc. Let's us, first of all, open our mouths and thank God for his faithfulness to us, for his past mercies, for this covenant altar, this, this covenant um, this covenant prayer altar that has been established for all he has done for us so far in the last six days. Today is the seventh day. And what you will do for us today and what you will do for us in the future program. Let us open our mouth and begin to thank God. Father, we want to say thank you so very much for your past message to us as individuals, as families, as a church, as a nation. We are so grateful. We return the glory to you. We return the honor to you in the name of Jesus. We want to say thank you so very much for this um, covenant prayer altar that you established for us, that by which God we have been praying the last six days. And you've always been there for us. Thank you for answers to prayers, what you have done in the last segments of this program and what you will do today. We are so grateful. And what you are doing in the future programs, accept our praise and thanks. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I'd like us to um, take our first prayer point. If you remember the, in the book of Job, uh, chapter 1, verse 9, when um, Job and God were in we're, we're talking, then the Bible says, Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for naught? Has not thou made an edge about him and about his house and about all that he had as on, on every side? Brethren, if you're if, if, if you a true child of God, living in obedience to God's word and will, God has a wall of defense about us, over all that parties unto us. So this evening, want to cry to God that that wall of defense around us let God's fire, let, let, let the fire of God that surrounds us let it be more in intensity, in greater measures, and make, let God make it impen, impenetrable to the agents of darkness. We're going to cry to God and say, Father, like never before, let your fire, the fire of the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost, surround me, my family, my business, my, and everything that pertains unto me in greater intensity, in greater measures, and keep us far away from accidents and from calamity and from evil in Jesus' name. Father God Almighty, we pray, God Almighty, that your fire, let your fire, the fire of the blood of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Ghost, let, that, let them surround us in greater measures in this season. And by reason of that fire, cover our God. Keep us away from calamity, keep tragedy, keep accident far away from us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, let all oh, let oh God the, this, the, anything like we, we seem to bring calamity to us, oh God, be far from us, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, so let it be unto us, oh God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Then in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter ten, verse eight, the Bible says, "He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it, and whoso breaketh an edge, a, a serpent shall bite." Brethren. That wall of defense of, of God around us, the only thing that can break it is when we displease God, when we live in sin. But when we are when we are living pleasing to God and it's perfect with that wall of defense, is there it's intact. So we're going to cry to God and ask, ask him to, to please help us never to do anything will make that wall of defense to be broken. So I'm going to cry to God and say, Father, anything I will do to break your head of defense around me and my and, and my family, Father, keep us from doing them in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer, brother, Father. Anything, oh God, that I will do, anything, oh God, that I will do, that will break your wall of defense around about us, oh God, for the enemy to abide. Father, shield us from doing them, prevent us from doing them, keep us from doing them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So that your wall of defense around us, oh God, will remain intact, will remain unpenetrable, oh God, to the force of darkness. So let it be unto us, oh God, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. The book of Psalm 37, verse 23 says, that um, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Brethren, many times, you know, 
if we don't allow the Holy Spirit guide our footsteps, we can be at the wrong place at the right time. Or the wrong place at the wrong time and expose ourselves to unnecessary evil, unnecessary calamity, unnecessary accidents. We want to ask the Lord to ask us, we want to ask the Lord to come to order our footsteps, to make us sensitive to the of His Holy Spirit and for God to order our footsteps to always be at the right place at the right time in this season in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, we're going to cry and say, Father, even in this season, please order my footsteps and those of my loved ones, oh God. So I will always be, will always be at the right place at the right time, oh God. To enjoy your protective covering at all times in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, even in this season, oh God, order our footsteps, my footsteps, the footsteps of my loved ones, oh God, the footsteps of my relation parish, oh God, in such a manner I will be always at the right place at the right time, oh God, to enjoy your protective covering around the clock in the name of Jesus. So let it be unto us. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Brethren, many times. We are traveling, we are going up and down, we enter vehicles, means of transport. We can enter a wrong means of transport as a point of calamity. We can, we can travel, people have a point of calamity. So I want to ask the Lord that even as we travel in this season, God will so help us. We will not allow us to travel with any means of transport as a point of calamity. We will not allow us to travel with anyone as a point of calamity. We will cry to God and say, Father, even in this season, as we travel, as we move from one place to the other, God, Father, Keep us, oh God, from vehicles and uh, means of transport and from persons who have a point of calamity, who have a point of, with, with, who have a point of tragedy. Keep us far away from them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer, brother. Father God Almighty, in this season, oh God, as we travel from one place to another, oh God, as we move from one place to another, Father, Lord God Almighty, I pray, oh God, that you keep us and our loved ones, oh God, for every member of our oh God, keep us, oh God, from means of transport and from persons, oh God, who have a point of calamity that will never travel with them, will never be associated with them, oh God. Keep us far away from them, oh God, in this season, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The Bible says in Isaiah 54, it says, it says Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against us shall fall for our sakes. Brethren, many of these accidents that come our way fire outbreak calamity. Some of them are programmed by the agents of darkness. They gather together and say, ah, this person who will not send of this year, so we are going to visit upon him calamity, accidents, so and so on and so forth. So we're going to cry to God and say, Father, wherever they are gathering, or we gather together against us in this season, against, my, against me, against my family, against members of the parish, oh God, Lord God Almighty, set them into confusion, set them to disarray, scatter them, oh God, and cause them to fall for our sakes in Jesus' name. Let us pray that prayer, brethren. Father, even in this season of God, wherever they shall gather together against us, wherever they will gather together against us, against me, against my family, against any mm-hmm. marriage of mm-hmm. parish, oh God, Father, send them to confusion. Okay. Send them to disarray, oh God. Scatter them, oh Lord. And let, oh God, oh God, let them fall for our sins. In the name of Jesus. So let it be unto us, oh God. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, um, Colossians 2, verse 14 says, um, Colossians 2, verse 14, I quickly read it. It says, it says, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that war was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it, a, took it out of the way, nearly to the cross. Brethren, also as I said, People gather together against us in this season to do evil against us. Also, things have been programmed in the spiritual realm against us to bring about calamity. What some of these things we see, like fire outbreaks, calamity accidents, they have been long programmed. So, what do Christ to go about it? Any program, anything that have been programmed against us to bring about calamity, to bring about fire outbreak, to bring about accidents, let the blood of us cancel every such um, handwriting, every such um, uh, um, program against us. In the name of Jesus, we're going to cry to God and say, Father, every evil program, every evil writing that has been programmed against me, against my family, against every member of the parish, to visit with calamity, to visit with accident and fire outbreak, let the blood of Jesus blow them all out to God and cancel them and let me destroy in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, every evil writing. Every evil program that has been programmed against me and my household, against any member of parish, to bring about calamity upon us, whether to bring about fire, break, or accidents to God on us, let the blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus blot them all out and cancel them and destroy them in the name of Jesus. 
thank you, Jehovah God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Brethren, also, many of these uh, particular household accidents, they are caused by household enemies. They are their household enemies. We want to pray against household enemies who have been programmed, have been placed to, 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 to bring about calamity and action upon us. What do you going to say? Father, every household enemy sent to cause calamity, tragedy, fire outbreak, accident to us in this season. Father, expose them, paralyze them, oh God. And let all their plans be destroyed in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, every household enemy that has been sent against us to cause calamity on us, to cause tragedy upon us or accidents or fire outbreak, oh God, Father, expose them. Paralyze them, O oh God, and let their plans be totally destroyed and wiped out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We're going to pray against the spirit of error and carelessness that can bring about accidents, uh, domestic accidents in our homes. We're going to cry to God and say, Father, every spirit of error, every spirit of carelessness that seeks to operate in any of my household, in any of my, in any, in any, any staff of my business, O oh God. Father, Lord, we bind such spirits and cast them out of their lives into the abyss in the name of Jesus. Shield our, our, any, every member of my household and every member of my business, shield them from error and from carelessness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jehovah God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Final prayer point. We want to pray for all who have suffered loss on account of past accidents and calamities and fire breaks, that whatever, that, that, whatever loss has been suffered, God will stop back on them in many in full fold in Jesus' name. We're going to cry to God and say, Father, for any loss we have suffered, or any male relation prior has suffered from past accidents, from past calamities, from fire, past fire outbreaks, my Father, my God, in this season, restore back in full measure in the name of Jesus. And let our joy be full again. Let, 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 let our joy be full again in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jehovah God. We give you the praise, we give you the glory. In Jesus' name, we are praying. My Father, my God, we thank you for your faithfulness, for your kindness to God. We thank you because, oh God, you are a good God. You are, our, you, are, you are our defense. You are our refuge. You are our shelter. You are our protector. We've committed our lives unto you. That even in this season, oh God, by reason of your fire cover, by reason of the cover, cover of the blood of Jesus, by reason of the covering of the Holy Spirit, the fire of the Holy Spirit, God, that you will shield us. And keep fire away from us, oh God. Whatever is called calamity, whether it be accidents, oh God, fire outbreak, tragedy, whatever it is, oh God, we shall be shielded from them, oh God. In the name of Jesus, let the mark of the blood, let the mark of the blood just come to rest upon us, and the mark of Christ come to rest upon us, oh God, and single us up and protect us and shield us from all manner of evil in this season, oh God. For your praise and for your glory, that our joy be full. Thank you, Jehovah God. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. So, Father, we just want to appreciate you because you are a prayer answering God. Thank you because all the prayers you have prayed through the past six days, even within the last 30 minutes, Lord, we know you have answered. Thank you, Father. We return praise and glory to you, Lord, even as we go into the last segment of the prayers tonight we pray that lord by your spirit you quicken every one of us to pray and we pray right by the help of the holy spirit lord that there shall be no distraction to our praying in jesus much less name we have prayed amen we are tying up this particular night's prayer you know, the season we are in, uh, from the month of, of uh, September, they say it's, the, it's ember months. People are into all manners of fears because it is believed there are all manners of disasters and accidents. But tonight, the almighty God has brought it to the fore so that whatever prayers we need to pray, the Lord will avert disasters, calamities, troubles from us, from our families, from our church, and from our nation in the name of Jesus. Brethren, it is not just a seasonal thing now. 
our nation has been in the throes of all manners of troubles, all manners of things that are calamities. Tonight we are going to speak forth. We are going to call on our daddy and we will be sorted out. Our nation will be sorted out even in this season in Jesus' name. As we want to pray, I want us to remember that there are two broad two broad um, um, reasons for these calamities and for all these things that happen. One is divine anger, and then the second is satanic activity. We're going to start off with dealing with the issues of divine anger. When God is angry with the people, he releases some of these calamities as his own way of bringing, of letting them know his almightiness and bring the, those who wish, who will repent back to enjoy his peace. The book of Proverbs chapter 1, 24 to 28, I just saw it later and I wanted to just read that one. Proverbs 1, 24 to 28. He said, because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. You have set at naught all my counsel, and none will, and would none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when you fear, when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as dissolution, and your destruction come as a wild wind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then they shall call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. This gives us an idea of some people who will not receive the help of God in their calamity. That will not be our portion in Jesus' name. So I want us to pray some very quick prayers to provide the foundation as usual. And very importantly, we need to cry out for mercy. We are going to pray and say, Father, please have mercy on me. Oh, my God, have mercy on my family. Please, Lord, have mercy on every member of our church, all our loved ones. Daddy, please have mercy on us. Have mercy on the city I live in, oh, God. Oh, Lord, have mercy on the city I live in. Oh, have mercy on the nation, oh God, I live in, oh God. Father, please have mercy. Daddy, show mercy, oh God, upon the, the cities, upon the nation, upon my family. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. As we, I was praying about mercy for our cities, a lot of things that might happen that we'll be talking about. I, the Lord just reminded me about Sodom and Gomorrah. When a city is destined for divine, uh, for, for destruction because of divine anger, all the inhabitants, they will suffer it. But tonight, everything that the, our cities and nations have done, our families, tonight, as we cry for mercy, God will have mercy on us in Jesus' name. He will have mercy on us because we will repent. So the first thing we are going to repent of the sins of our forebears. There are things people have done. Lift your voice and say, Father, every sin of my forebears, <coughs> oh Lord, my ancestors, sins that have been done by people, oh God, in the past, that is bringing disaster and calamity upon the place I live, upon my family, upon me, Lord. Tonight, we repent of those sins. Daddy, in your mercy, please forgive. Ah, Daddy, please, in your mercy, please forgive. In Jesus' name, we pray. We are going to pray also. One very key thing God will put in our heart. We have the story of, of David who sinned, and then calamity came upon the people sins of our leaders. When leaders, those in authority, commit atrocities, the people suffer. Lift up your voice and say, Father, tonight, please have mercy. 
Please forgive the sins of our leaders, the things that our leaders have done that have brought evil upon us and upon our land. Father, I ask tonight, please show us mercy. Daddy, please show mercy. Forgive, O oh God, sins of our leaders, past and present. Daddy, please, the consequences of those sins affect our land, O oh God. Have mercy, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We're going to pray for our own sins. There are things we have done. Sins of disobedience. We have resisted the commands of God. And God said, wow, I will show you. Ah, he spoke about the hedge being broken. Say, Father, I come to you tonight. Oh God, every sin I have committed, known and unknown, that has opened me up to divine judgment, that has opened me up to the activity of devils, satanic activities. Tonight, oh God, I cry unto you, have mercy on me. Please forgive me, forgive my family, oh God. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Brethren, when the, the, when the Lord wants to move against a people, he said, if I see the blood, I will pass over you. We are going to renew the covering of the blood of Jesus over ourselves, over our households, over all members of our churches, over our dwelling places, our homes. Let us put the blood. Father, I, I, I put the mark of the blood over me, over my wife, over my children, over all your children in resurrection parish in the blessed family over all your children in the redeemed Christian church of God, all your children of God, that they wherever they are tonight, oh God, we put the mark of the blood upon everyone. Daddy, as the angels of destruction begin to move around, Daddy, they will pass over us. Daddy, as they execute divine judgment, we shall not be victims in the name of Jesus. Father, even for the things, oh God, that have, have made the end, you to want to execute judgment, that it please help us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Ah, there was this psalm that we were praying with, Psalm 91, throughout the 2020, one during the COVID. And it was be he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Ah, we are going to pray and say, Father, please help me, O God, and every member of my family to dwell, to dwell under your shadow. Daddy, let us not depart, O God, from your dwelling place. Let us not depart from underneath your shadow. Lord, when the enemy will be moving around, like a hawk seeking to send destructions. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying that none of us will be found at the wrong place. Lord, in the night when there was destruction on Egypt, anyone who was found outside of the houses with the mark of the blood, ah, they became victims. Father, don't allow me or mine, oh God, by my activities and actions, to come from under your covering, or oh, to be in the wrong place, to be um, at places I should not be. Father, don't allow us to be careless. Don't allow us in our disobedience and anxiety to move from the under of your covering. In the name of Jesus, oh, let us dwell in your secret place. That is the secret place, is the place of your presence. Father, help us to stay, O oh God, in your presence all the days of our lives, O oh God. Whatever, O oh God, will break us away from being in your presence. Tonight, we ask you, Lord, don't let it happen. Father, please don't allow us to go outside of the shadow of your wings. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Before I go into specifics, there was a prayer, Pastor. Yeah, he was praying. <coughs> and I felt as he was praying to have to repeat and reemphasize tonight. It is about programmed 
calamities, programmed calamities in the book of Esther without their knowing. Haman and his people had already done all manners of lots and they had pro pro programmed a particular day, the 13th day of the 12th month, that on that day there had been destruction of the Jews. Brethren, the Bible says the, 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 the devil is going, to, he comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. He has made pro, um, plans. There are programmed dates for destruction of lives, of properties, of certain children of God, even before this year is over. But by the authority in the name of Jesus, there shall be a reversal. We are going to say, Father, every date that has been programmed for calamities against me, against my family, against the church, against any of my loved ones, my friends, my businesses. Oh God, let there be a reversal. Let there be a reversal, oh God. Father, reverse every date that has been programmed in the, in the, in the realm of the spirit for destruction, for, for us to suffer losses, for us to weep, for us to be killed by one thing or the other. Daddy, today, oh God, by a direct word of the King of Kings, let there be a reversal. Let there be a reversal in the name of Jesus. Daddy, it shall not happen. In the name of Jesus, we stand upon the authority in the name of Jesus, and we annul every handwriting that has been written that is contrary in the realm of the spirit against us. Ah, handwriting is to cause destruction, disaster, accidents, fire, floods, everything. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now we're going to pray for very specific things, especially areas where we have the, um, some form of expression of anger. One of it is floods. When the people sinned, ah, the first flood happened, but God decided at a particular time to make the floods to assuage. We are going to pray and say, Father, please, wherever there has been floods, oh God, in our nation, in the world, Lord, please have mercy and let the floods assuage, oh God. Hold back, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let us pray that places that we are still to be flooded, that the Lord, because we are praying tonight, that he will hold back the flood waters from our locations, from Lekki here, from the places we live where you are praying. Please talk to the almighty God. Father, please keep your floods away from my dwelling, from where your people are, O oh God from our cities and our towns, O oh God. Father, hold back. Let an end, O oh God, come to flooding. Yes, they have talked about climate change and all that. But that you are the one who controls the weather and the climate. Father, do it in a way, Lord, that we will no longer have people suffering losses again, people being uh, in all manners of trouble because of floods. People dying because of floods. Father, please have mercy on Nigeria. Have mercy on our city, our states, oh God. Father, our locality and our neighborhoods, where our homes are, that we will not lose properties in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' much less name, we pray. Amen. We are going to pray tonight against every form of fire disasters. You know that one of the instruments the devil used also his fire against Job. God allowed, and there were fire disasters. We are going to pray and say, Father, please don't allow any form of fire disasters, domestic fire disasters, industrial fire disasters in our churches, fire disasters around our homes, around our companies, around our organizations. Somebody please open your mouth and pray. Father, please, wherever the fire was already raging from the source, extinguish it in the name of Jesus. 
Father, keep oh, and secure every one of us, all our children, every one of us from being at places where there is any form of fire. Protect our properties and everything from fire, oh God. Vehicles will not catch fire. All things around us will not catch fire. In the name of Jesus, Father, please, oh God, put, don't allow that in this year and they so we say, oh, it is Hamatan time. Oh, there are fires here. Lord, you control all things. Every satanic attempt to use fire to destroy our, all our hard-earned properties and to kill people, put an end to reach, oh God. In Jesus, much less them, we pray. In Jesus, much less them, we pray. We are going to pray against storms, hurricanes, all manner of tropical storms, all manner of storms that are raging and destroying. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Father, come every storm. Hold back, oh God, storms in our neighborhoods, in our nation. That the storms all over the nations of the world, hurricanes, tsunamis, and all those ragglies inside the oceans. Father, please, oh God, we are praying tonight as you have put on our heart, oh God, you control all this, Lord. In your mercy, hold back. Daddy, put an end, oh God. Daddy, destructive winds, all manners of cyclones. Father, please, oh God, we come to you tonight. Father, please, Daddy, let them stop, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are going to pray against pestilences. We are going to pray against all manners of evil diseases and plagues. Ah, there are still nations that are suffering COVID. There are all manners of diseases and plagues that are allowed by the Lord sometimes when people have decided to say, where is God? Our daddy has said something like COVID until the nations agree about God, that that will still continue. We are going to pray that every pestilence, that the Lord will keep us, keep away pestilence from our homes, from our children, from our loved ones, that the Lord will hold back. That was the prayer we are going to, we'll be praying in 2020. Lord, cause the angels that are executing pestilence to hold back whatever there has, has happened that made it, oh God, that this, was released, O oh God. Father, please hold every sicknesses, all manners of pestilences, plagues that are afflicting nations. Father, let there be a hold back in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus, much less them, we have prayed. Amen. Well, we are coming to bandits, headsmen. The Bible makes it clear. These are things already in Scripture. In Judges chapter 6, if you read from verse 1, you will see these were the Midianites. They always appeared when it was time for harvest. The people will plant, but they will not allow them to eat. They will come and kill them. So they were hiding every activity of bandits and herdsmen that have caused our people to go into hiding not to be able to go into farms, to be able to go with our activities. Let us lift up our voices tonight and say, Father, thank you for what you have done thus far, but put a permanent stop to banditry and all the activities of Fulani headsmen in our nation and all manners of criminal bandits of whatever style in all the cities and the places in Nigeria. Lord, enough is enough. Daddy, change them out, Lord. Father, change them out. Put a stop to their activities. Oh, Daddy, deal with their sponsors. Father, please, oh God, enough is enough. Arise, oh God. Ah, Daddy, change them away. Daddy, raise, oh God, a leader, oh God, that will put an end to these uh, particular activities in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' much less name, we pray. We are going to pray against the activity of terrorists, people who have made it their point of duty to make the hearts of men to fear. They create fear. They cause bombings. They do suicide bombing. 
they kill people, they do all sorts. Oh, but they, with the, 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 the leadership have no answer, but God has an answer. Let us open our mouths to say, Father, concerning terrorists and terrorism in our nation and in the nations of the world, arise, oh God, arise, oh God. Father, deal with them. You know their sources. You know their sponsors. You know their funding channels. You know the perpetrators. Father, we call put them, Lord, call that you judge them. Judge them, Lord. Release your judgment to them wherever they are. Put an end to every form of terrorism in our land. That in our neighbors, wherever they are planted people, they are having cells here and there. Father, let us begin to hear that all of them have been taken up in their own devices in the name of Jesus. Put an end all over the nation, bombings, all manners of explosions. Daddy, please do it for us, oh God. In Jesus' much less name, we pray. We are going to pray against kidnappers. All manners of kidnaps, closer, closer, all over Lagos, but an expressway, all over places that we never thought. We are going to pray that the activities of kidnappers, that the almighty God will put a stop to it, that whoever they are, that they will now be napped, that God will decide to deal with them. Let's pray and say, Father, put an end to the activity of kidnappers around our neighborhoods, around our nation. Oh, that the none of your children will be victims again. They have been suffering and exploiting people. They have been killing people. Father, we are asking for the help of heaven, for God to arise. Oh, God, <coughs> we have no power of our own. We cannot do anything. Daddy, please, oh God, Daddy, do it, oh God. Father, shield all of us, none of your children, oh God, will be victims, oh God, of this evil man in the name of Jesus. Father, deal with the evil man, deal with the evil man. In Jesus' much less day, we pray. And as we pray concerning evil men, let us remember all the robbers, Arm robbers and people who are going about perpetrating criminal activities. Let us remember ritualists, those who are killing for money, uh, for to, to uh, who, uh, who take uh, kill people to to utilize their blood for rituals. Let us ask that the Almighty God will go into their places now, all their places. Let Him expose them and dismantle them in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouths and pray. And say our children shall not be victims of rituals. Ritualists, we, our wives, our husbands, will not be victims of ritualists and robbers and kidnappers. Father, please, none of our loved ones, that they will cover every one of us. We put the mark of Christ afresh on all of us. That they please dislodge their activities. Father, do a new thing. Do something new. Marie Kabasendere Mori Brade. In the name of Jesus, let us now cover all our roads, all our airwaves, uh, uh, all our airspace, all our seas, and everywhere with the blood of Jesus against accidents in the rest of this year. Let us pray that there shall be no accidents again, that God will put an end to all these accidents, that there will be no bloodshed on our roads, no air crashes, no ship uh, capsizing, boat capsizing. Let us pray against every manner of accidents. Lipa Calabrini, Daddy, we pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Daddy, it shall be well. Now, in Jesus' name, we pray. Now, let us start open up our microphones as we pray in the Spirit for the next two, three minutes so that every area of calamities and disasters, the Almighty God help us as we pray tonight. In the name of Jesus, we pray tonight.
Jesus Father, we want to say thank you. Thank, thank you, you Lord. Lord. Daddy, you are the one who has brought this particular meeting to deal with the issue of calamity. By the authority in the name of Jesus, Amen. we shall end this work this year. Amen. And sound and Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I have the mark of the of 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 the blood. Every one of us, our homes, our, our property, our children, our wives, our husbands, our business, our wives, our business, no evil, no calamity, in the name of Jesus. Mercy of God will work for us. Amen. Cross over in peace. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And we thank you one more time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' best name, we are very let us share the grace of the Amen. Before we bend, I of your household, your, your friends, friends, and all people. God is going to help us to pray for breakthroughs in our society. Amen. 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 Am